Do I even look okay today? I'm already out of breath. And I'm not even thinking about where I'm gonna put all these books. Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Mooney Reads, where I talk about books and things. So, or, well, mostly I talk about books. And today, I have a book unboxing. And if I'm out of breath, it's because I, ooh, girl, we can't be looking all shabby like this. Oh, yes, there's a rip in my sweater. It's fashion. So, as I was saying, if I'm out of breath, it's because I just took the thumbnail for this video and it, it was a lot. Y you saw it. You all saw it. Also, I'm gonna have to adjust you for a moment. There we go. A little bit. Now you are at a better angle to see this absolutely ridiculous book haul and unboxing. Now, before we get into it, I really wanna say something because it's like been eating at me and that's the reason why I haven't filmed this video. And it's that before I started my channel, there was a period of time where I really wasn't reading much. We're talking about if I got through maybe five books per year, it was a good year. So when I got back into reading and when I realized that I can read 15 books in one month, I just didn't have books. I, I mean, I did have books, but you see all of these books behind me, I think 90% of them are read. So this is just me saying that if you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself you want to make a booktube channel you don't need to go crazy like this you, you don't need to buy a stack of, of like boxes that is about this like bigger than your cats stacked on top of each other that is the weirdest metaphor but anyway without further ado i just wanted to get that out there this is not normal and i can't keep this up so i also want to <sighs> There's so much I want to say, but another thing that has been kind of eating at me and why I haven't filmed this video is there are so many people out there that have lost their job due to their current state of the world in general. And it kind of feels kind of bad to be like, I just spent all of this money on these books because it just doesn't sit well. And I know people are thinking, don't worry, people want an escape and whatever, but it just didn't feel well inside of me so i had to say something anything else to say girl i'm sweating all right let's just get right into the book haul and unboxing which is what you are here for the first book i have here i already unboxed because the poor mailman which by the way heroes of this moment was it was raining and it was the box was all wet and i was worried about the books inside so i'm holding it up the secret history by donna tart um, we all know what this is about. This is about a group of students in a very prestigious academy or a university and one of them dies and they retell the mystery. I'm gonna go through this fast because you saw the stack. You saw the stack. And then I got Dead Poet Society by N.H. Kleinbaum. Now, I'm not sure if this is a novelization or if this is just based on the movie or the movie was based on this. I think it's the former, not the latter. But I saw it and it was like two euros and I was like, do I want to break my heart again? Uh, yes. So, Dead Poet Society. Next up, we have one of the books that I'm most excited for in this entire haul. Let's do a drinking game about how many times I say that. And it's Maurice by, by E.M. Forrester. And this is a gay, gay book about a gay man in a time where being gay it was not like today, which is still not, you know, <laughs> you know, rights and everything. But I have never read, I have never read an E.M. Forrester before and I thought, why not start with this? And also, can we talk, thank you for being a short classic, sir. And then I got a book that I got. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> And then I got a book that was a total cover buy and that I bought on a whim because again, books are super cheap right now, at least in Spain they are. And I got The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Now from what I understand, in this world, clairvoyancy is a thing, but it's outlawed. Uh, it's outlawed. It's outlawed. There we go. Clairvoyancy is a thing and it's outlawed. And, well, I'm guessing the main character is clairvoyant because it is clairvoyancy is outlawed. I don't know. It actually does sound amazing. What was that? So, yes, clairvoyancy, clairvoyance is outlawed. And then we have a character who is clearly clairvoyant. 
So there you go. And that ends this portion of the books I have already opened part of the video. And now we get to unboxing all of these books. Now most of these came from Amazon and don't come at me. I live in Spain and I read mostly in English. So finding books in English is really hard outside of Amazon. Don't, don't come at me, please. I love supporting local bookstores, but it's just really difficult when all the books are in Spanish. But that being said, by Mary Watson. Look at that cover, you guys. Oh my God. And this is a story about sisters, and I believe it's about one of the sisters dies, and the other th sister thinks that the sister was murdered. But the case kind of goes cold, and she decides to go after the killer, I guess. So she, she decides to investigate on her own, and there might be magic in here, and I'm so excited. Oh my God, I go, oh, I love this cover. I'm so happy. Oh, yes. <laughs> See, this is why buying books is a thing. Because you get this, like, shot of, is it dopamine or endorphins? One of those. And it just makes you really happy. It's called, what is it? Instant satisfaction? No, that's a song. Instant gratification. And I'm having that right now. And this is why the retail therapy is a thing. You don't need me to preach at you, but... <laughs> and then we got... Bay. I'm sorry, I'm old, I say bae. But we got another Daphne de Maurier, and this one is The Loving Spirit. I still have to read My Cousin Rachel, but if I read My Cousin Rachel and I love it, then I'm just gonna buy all those, uh, all of these Virago Modern Classic edition of all of her books because I want a Daphne de Maurier library. Just saying. All right, we're, we're off to a good start. Okay, now we have this package. I swear, if this is not like a book, because I don't, I have no idea what's in these. These have been sitting in my house for like a long time. But why, why is this so hard to open? There, well, there we go. They're not hard to open. I'm just a child. Ooh, okay. Okay, we have the sign of four by Arthur Conan Doyle. I have never read a Sherlock Holmes. And again, this went on sale for like two, Euro, so I was like, okay, I'll read me some Sherlock Holmes. So there we go, and it's a Penguin English Library, which I plan to buy a lot more classics in the in these editions because a floppy and b cover cover porn amazing. Oh gosh, I'm glad I'm not monetized because I just said porn. All right, what is this? This is not from. Amazon, so let's see what it is. What? Why, why is it like it says open right here? And I'm like, Ugh. what? Oh, that's why, because it's hard. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, this is The Right Hunt by Mary Watson. I bought this used, so I knew that it was gonna have like uh, imperfect, imperfect, <laughs> I can't speak imperfections, but that's fine. And this is from the same author as this. And I know this one is about a girl who once a year gets like chased through the woods by a bunch of guys. And I know that sounds weird, but apparently it's based on Irish mythology. Like there's an Irish myth, you know, that kind of goes like that. And I want to know more and also cover. I saw somebody, I saw somebody haul this and that's what got me to buy these two. This, this is why book hauls are dangerous. <laughs> People are like, ew, I want that. And, and then you go and buy it. And yeah. You buy, this fell down again. I'm not gonna put it up again. All right, I have two boxes here, but I'm gonna leave these for the end because these are kind of like special. And we have a bigger Amazon box here, which I'm gonna need a knife for, where's the knife? I'm terrified of knives. Always cut away from yourself, kids. Always cut away from yourself. You know, there's a book called, what's it called? The Hot Zone. It's up there. It's one of my favorite books. And I learned the importance of cutting away from yourself from that book. But it's really hard to cut away from yourself. Ah! Okay. <gasps> I wasn't expecting this. Okay. So I entered in a Twitter giveaway for the Miss Born trilogy and I won and then Twitter was going crazy and they couldn't contact me so they contacted somebody else as the winner and then when they finally were able to contact me I, I was like it's okay you, you don't have to give me the prize and he was like no you're the original winner and 
I got the Miss Born Trilogy box set. Oh my, I wasn't expecting this yet. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <gasps> this is so cool. Oh, I'm pretty sure you all know the Miss Born Trilogy by now. And if you don't, it's pretty much like cyberpunk meets fantasy. And it's written by... Brandon Sanderson, who can do no wrong except for maybe Steelheart, which I, I have yet to see somebody like, so. Yay, thank you so much. I'll put the name of the creator that did the giveaway here because I am blanking at the moment. Oof, girl, hot. That concludes the like Amazon books in English portion of this video. And now here I have these RBA boxes. Now, I don't know if this is like a worldwide thing but RBA is basically like a subscription box and they're doing this thing where I'm trying to open this without killing myself um, where they're doing classics in these beautiful cloth bound editions at first I was kind of like I don't want that because I these are English classics and I want to own the English book for it because they're English classics but I mostly read classics on the audiobook. And these books are like two, two to nine euros. So like the subscription varies depending on the month. So I was like, why not just get these pretty copies? Like, who, what are you trying to prove by just having the English version? Like, ridiculous. So let's see what we have here. Oh, here we have Withering Heights in this gorgeous edition. It's, it's hardback. Um, I haven't read Withering Heights, but um, and I'm not sure I want to. <laughs> no, I do want to, but I just, I've heard it's really problematic, so. But I mean, you know. And then, are they together? No. Then we have Pride and Prejudice, and oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Pride and Prejudice by, obviously, Jane Austen. I love this flap that's in my face. And then finally, is this the one? Yeah. And then we have Little Women, which I do have an English copy of because I read it in English in actual physical format. Um, but this cover is beautiful and it came with the subscription. And now we have the other because they sent me... They, I think they do two books per month and I signed up like on the third month or something. I can't math, but I don't know. I'm gonna take them out first. Let's see, make sure there's nothing left inside because I know that the oh no, it's next month where they have like a special art feature. And then in this one we have Sense and Sensibility by Jen, Jane Austen, and then we have Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, which I just read and I really wanted a copy of, so now I have all these beautiful, beautiful copies of these books uh, to display it because honestly, I audiobook most classics. It's easier for me that way. Look at those spines. Look at those spines. Don't all of those look beautiful? And yeah, and that way also, if my husband ever wants to read these beautiful classics, he also has the ability to because they're in Spanish. So let's all think about Rodrigo. And you know, I think they're gonna go here or here. Like that's my plan. So yeah, all right, and I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, wow, Monica, that was a lot of books. You must be like done. I'm not, I'm not done. I bought more books, but you know, postal service is taking a while, which I am completely fine with, by the way. I keep saying that, but I just feel that it's so important for me to emphasize that I, um, I think we need to be patient unless, you know, it's medicine or something. I, I have plenty of books to read, so yeah. Also, I am going to do a Kindle haul because I buy a lot of books on my Kindle. Like, I buy more books on my Kindle than I buy in person, which, which I should stop because I need to read my books, but we'll do a video about that later. Anyway, that's it for this unboxing. Everything's a mess around me. I have a bunch of books to put in the shelves that I just organized, so hmm, that's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> anyway, Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, you know the drill, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>